Welcome dear audience students and scholars here I am Dr. Amjad Ali in this video we are going to discuss about aggregate supply dear scholars by itself the aggregate demand curve does not tell us the price level or the amount of output that will prevail in the economy it merely gives a relationship between the two variables to accompany the aggregate demand curve we need another relationship between prices and output that crosses the aggregate demand curve and aggregate supply curve the aggregate demand and aggregate supply curves together pin down the economy's price level and quantity of output let's define the aggregate supply aggregate supply is the relationship between the quantity of goods and services supplied and the price level because the firm that supply goods and services have flexible prices in the long run but sticky prices in the short run the aggregate supply relationship depends on the time horizon we need to discuss two different aggregate supply curves the long run aggregate supply curve that is LRAS and the short run aggregate supply curve that is SRAS okay we also need to discuss how the economy makes the transition from the short run to the long run okay the long run the vertical aggregate uh, supply curve because uh, the classical model describes how the economy behaves in the long run we drive the long run aggregate supply curve from the classical model okay in the classical model the amount of output produced depends on the fixed amount of capital and labor and on the available technology okay to show this we can write it why output is the function of fixed capital and fixed labor so we have a fixed amount of output according to the classical model output does not depend on the price level to show that uh, output is fixed at this level regardless of the price level let's see a graphical presentation of uh, this relationship we have the long run aggregate supply curve we have uh, income output y on x axis and we have uh, price level p on y axis so in the long run uh, we suppose that uh, uh, the uh, level of output is determined by the amount of capital and labor and by the available technology it does not depend on the price level the long run aggregate supply curve uh, LRAS is vertical so we have a vertical uh, long run aggregate supply curve and we have here fixed amount of output okay this figures shows that in the long run uh, the intersection of the aggregate demand curve with this vertical supply curve determine the price level if the aggregate supply curve is vertical then the change in uh, aggregate demand affects uh, prices but not output for example if the economy supply falls the aggregate demand curve shift downwards let's see a graphical presentation of this so we have a shift shifts in the aggregate demand in the long run we have uh, income output on x-axis we have price level P on y-axis we have a vertical aggregate uh, supply curve with fixed amount of output we have the again demand curve AD1 so we know that the intersection of uh, uh, aggregate demand and aggregate supply curve is the equilibrium level and that amount of and that prices will be decided in the economy okay let's see a fall in the aggregate demand a fall in the aggregate demand shifted the aggregate demand curve downward and we have aggregate demand curve 2 here 
okay that fall in aggregate demand curve lower the prices in the economy and we have a new equilibrium level that is B but in this mean that we have the lower price level in the long run but we uh, have a same output uh, because we have the fixed amount of production so following the classical model when we have fixed amount of uh, production and the same pr uh, production technology we have fixed amount of output so a reduction uh, in the uh, in the demand supply shift the aggregate demand curve downward from AD1 to AD2 the equilibrium for the economy moves from point A to point B because the aggregate supply is vertical in the long run the reduction in the aggregate demand affects the price level but not the level of output so the economy moves from the old intersection of aggregate supply and aggregate demand point, point, point A to point B the shift in aggregate demand affects only prices the vertical aggregate supply curve satisfy the classical dichotomy because it implies that the level of output is independent of money supply this long run level of output uh, we have a uh, y prime here or y bar here this is called the full employment or natural level of output uh, it is the level of output at which the economy the resources are fully implied or uh, more uh, realistically at which unemployment uh, is at its natural rate okay let's see this short run uh, the horizontal uh, aggregate supply curve okay the classical model and the vertical aggregate uh, supply curve apply only in the long run in the short run some prices are sticky and therefore do not adjust to change in demand okay because of this uh, price stickness the short run aggregate supply curve is not vertical Suppose that all firms have issued price catalogs and that it is too costly for them to issue new ones, thus all prices are stuck uh, at predetermined levels. Okay, at these prices, firms are willing to sell as much as their customers are willing to buy and they hire just enough labor to produce the amount demanded okay let's see uh, this uh, with the graphical presentation we have the short run aggregate supply curve we have uh, output income output y on x axis and we have the price level p on y axis in the short run uh, this is a extreme example our prices are fixed in the short run therefore uh, the short run aggregate supply curve is horizontal so we have a fixed amount of prices so our short run aggregate supply curve look like that okay with the horizontal aggregate uh, uh, supply curve the short run equilibrium of the economy at the intersection of the aggregate demand curve and this horizontal short run aggregate supply curve in this case changes in the aggregate demand do not affect the price uh, uh, level and the uh, amount of output for example if the uh, central bank suddenly reduces the money supply the aggregate demand curve shifts inward let's see another graphical presentation for that shifts in aggregate demand in the short run we have output income on y-axis and we have prices p on x-axis and we have short run supply curve we have the aggregate demand curve 
the intersection of the aggregate demand and supply curve will decide the price level and uh, will decide the amount of output in the economy and this will be the equilibrium level. So in the short run, when prices are sticky, we cannot uh, change the prices. So by reducing or by a fall in aggregate demand, shift the aggregate demand curve downward and uh, we have a new aggregate demand curve that is 82 and we have a new equilibrium level this will lower the output level as well and we have a lower level of equilibrium point so a reduction in the money supply shifts the aggregate demand curve downward from 81 to 82 the equilibrium uh, for the economy moves from point A to point B because the aggregate supply curve here is horizontal. In the short run, the reduction in aggregate demand reduces the uh, amount of output. So the economy moves from the old intersection of uh, aggregate demand and aggregate supply point A to point B. B. The movement from point A to point B represents the decline in output at fixed price. Here we have the fixed price. Thus a fall in aggregate demand reduces output in the short run because prices do not adjust in immediately. After the sudden fall in uh, aggregate demand firms are stuck with prices that are too high with demand low and prices high firms sell less of their products so they reduce production and lay of workers the economy experiences a recession once again be forward uh, that reality is a bit more complicated as illustrate here although many prices are sticky in the short run some prices are um, uh, um, able to respond quickly in changing circumstances so this figure explains that uh, uh, in the short run uh, when the aggregate demand uh, reduces this will reduces the uh, aggregate output of the economy okay from the short run uh, to the long run we can summarize our analysis uh, so far as follow oh, over long periods of time prices are flexible the aggregate supply curve is vertical and changes uh, in aggregate demand affect the price level but not output okay over short periods of time prices are sticky the aggregate supply curve is flat and changes uh, in aggregate demand do not uh, do affect the economy's output of goods and services but not the price level Okay, here we have one of the main question that uh, how does the economy make the transition from short run to the long run. So let's see uh, the effect over time of a fall in aggregate demand. Suppose that the economy is initially in the long run equilibrium. Let's see a graphical presentation for that. The long run equilibrium. We have output income on y-axis and we have price level p on y-axis we have long run supply curve, aggregate supply curve vertically and uh, we have short run aggregate supply curve and we have the aggregate demand of the economy we know that the intersection of the aggregate demand and supply curve will decide the long run equilibrium so in the long run the economy finds itself at the intersection of the long run aggregate supply curve and aggregate demand curve because prices have adjusted to this level the short run aggregate supply curve crosses this point as well so see here we have all three curves uh, are intersection at this point so 
in this uh, figure uh, there are three curves we have highlighted the aggregate uh, demand curve and the long run aggregate supply curve this is our long run aggregate supply curve and we have the short run aggregate supply curve the long run equilibrium is the point at which aggregate demand crosses the aggregate supply curve prices have adjusted uh, to reach this equilibrium therefore when economy uh, is in its uh, long run equilibrium the short run aggregate supply curve must cross this point as well now suppose that uh, the central bank reduces the money supply and the aggregate demand curve shifts downward so let's see another graphical presentation we have the fixed output we have highlighted also so a reduction in aggregate demand we have income output y on x axis and we have price level p on y axis and we have short run aggregate supply curve and we have long run aggregate supply curve okay we have fixed amount of output we know that the intersection of aggregate demand and aggregate supply curve will decide the equilibrium level of the economy so let's see what happened a fall in aggregate demand curve so see uh, a fall in aggregate demand curve will shift the aggregate demand curve downward and we have a new aggregate demand curve 82 so we have a lower level of output that is here at point B so because we have a fixed amount of aggregate supply so we know that the intersection of aggregate demand and aggregate supply curve will decide new equilibrium that is point B so but in the long run uh, price level can affect the economy's output and this will shift the equilibrium of the economy from B to point C here so in the short run prices are sticky so the economy moves from point A to point B output and employment falls below this natural level from this level which means the economy is in a recession over time in response to the low demand wages and prices will fall the gradual reduction the price level moves the economy downward so see move the economy downward along the aggregate demand curve to point C which is the uh, new long run equilibrium in the uh, long run uh, we can say uh, equilibrium point where we have output and employment are back to their natural level so here we have the output and employment are it at natural level but prices are here we have the uh, lower level of prices than we have in the long run equilibrium point a so thus a shift in aggregate demand affects output in the short run but this effect uh, will be disappear over time as the firm adjust uh, to their prices so this is all about the aggregate supply so see you with another video ciao